Welcome to the channel Breakaway Film, where we discuss topics on how to edit, film, and music. So today, we're going to talk about how to set up your tracks and record in Pro Tools. The first thing you want to do is locate your application. Once you locate the application folder, double click on the icon and you should see this box right in front of you. We will be creating a blank session. Next, system parameters. Audio file format. This is very important. In today's industry, most people work with WAV. Your second option is AIFF. What does AIFF stand for? Audio Interchange File Format. This is a file format standard user for storing sound data. We will be using WAV. Bit Death. You have 16 bit, 24 bit, 32 bit flow. Bit Death is the number of bits of information in each sample. Think of a wave, and each point on that wave represents a bit. 16 bit, 24 bit, 32 bit float are all different dynamic ranges which allow you to hear the music more clear. Go right ahead and experience. But for this tutorial, we'll be using 24 bit. The last option, I normally leave unchecked, but what is interleave? This is a new option that determines how Pro Tools will handle multi channel audio files. Here you can choose to have Pro Tools handle, for example, stereo audio files as one interleave audio file rather than splitting the left and right audio files. Next is the sample rate. A sample rate is the number of sample audio carried per second. Analog audio is recorded by sampling it 44,100 times per second, and these samples are used to reconstruct the audio signal when playing back. For this tutorial, we'll be using 441. Let me remind you, all CDs default is 16-bit 441. The higher you go, the more detail of the sound you hear. Here's a tip. When sending your music off to mastering, I'll recommend boosting that sample rate up to 96K and make sure your bit depth is at 24-bit. Please make sure your CPU can handle that type of workload. Go right ahead and experience the difference between each sample rate. See what works best for you. For this tutorial, we'll be using 44.1 kilohertz. IO stands for inputs and outputs. And I will show you in another tutorial how to set up your IO settings. Or you can use the other options given by Pro Tools. So go right ahead and click OK. Give your session a name. Voila, a blank new session. So the first step is to go to the top of the screen, locate track, select new, go to create and enter the amount desired. For your audio tracks, you always have the option to go mono or stereo. Well, when you recording a lead vocal, mono will work fine. The next option is to make sure it's audio track. Leave samples as is, hit create. Step two, go back to track, new. This time, you'll be setting up your auxiliary tracks. Go over to your right, mono, goes to stereo. Audio track, select to aux input, hit create. So let me explain what are you looking at. The top is your inserts. Here, you can add your plugins. You have EQs, your dynamics with your compressors, your pitch shift for auto tunes, reverb for your hall effects, your delays, modulations for filters, harmonics, 
noise reduction and so much other options sins are important for routing signals for example you may want this reverb track on audio track one how is that done simple go to sins go to bus make sure it's stereo not mono but you can also use mono but for this example we will be you for this example we'll be using stereo select your options we'll be using bus one two make sure your auxiliary track your input is select to the same exact bus on the sin track now simply turning up the dial on this sin would give me reverb but I might take that out So, you have your in inserts, where your plugins go, and you have your sins for routing signal flow. Your next is your inputs and outputs. Your input is very important. My microphone is connected to my Apple G interface, and it's connected to my first input. Anytime I want to record vocals, I make sure this input is selected to one. I have multiple options. One, two, three, four. But my mic is selected on input one. So make sure you know where your mic is located at on your interface. Second thing is your output. Analog 1 and 2 on my outputs is where I have my monitors connected. Next, you have your automation options. You will have an option to select or deselect those group tracks. The next, you have your pan option. Left or right. Underneath, you have record inserts solo mute name your track also at the very bottom little tip if you want to give it a color go right ahead you adjust your brightness this is your mix screen another important thing I would like to mention is creating a master track Create one, go to new, stereo, master, fader, create. Always like to have my master track all the way to the right. And your master track controls the volume of the entire session. Another thing, to record or play, fast forward or rewind, Make sure your transport option is shown. To do this, go to window, scroll down to transport, and there you go. Record, and play, and you're ready to go. So, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Appreciate you.